so this is the spark plug that was on the charger guys let me see if i could get look at that so right now we are going to change the spark plugs like i said and we'll be getting that done as well for now we're going to be changing out the spark plugs so stay tuned don't go away oh and now reminder that uh we have that check engine light but it's due to the spark plug so i'm thinking it's a spark plug that that it's going to need new so there's another uh thing that will have to be upgraded in this car okay, and we are going to get some spark plugs for the charger and hopefully that is all okay right, so we're back here at o'reilly's again i mean o'reilly should just kind of sponsor me already <laughs> i'm joking so i mean it would be nice but anyway uh we're gonna go get the spark plug so we're gonna switch out the spark plugs first you know i would like the charger to run properly and not be turning off once in a while uh because it is annoying you know and it is dangerous as well like let's say you get to the stoplight and the charger just turns off Oh, I mean, any car, you know, that needs spark plugs, it just turns off because there's not, uh, due to the spark plugs being pretty old, you know, you kind of are out of luck in that situation or you get hit. Never know. It's very dangerous. So, uh, we are going to go ahead and do that and hopefully install them today. I'm not sure about that. Got the spark plugs and I went ahead with Champion, but I don't know how maybe and see what i should have gone with but yeah that's for now before anything before doing anything of that matter uh if you want to find out how much to gap your spark plugs here is the uh, requirement 0 0.045 uh gap so i'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now but yeah if you guys need to do that just look here on the label of and it should give you uh, how to gap them so let's start with removing the the coil packs here with the car just to make it a lot easier i'm going to remove the air box which i already kind of did uh unfortunately i don't have anybody to film me but uh i have this little thing here but the thing is it's not tall enough uh to get footage so anyway i'm going to remove this um uh, this simply pops right off scoot that to the side uh so now we got some good clearance here the rest you can get them pretty easily the other one i'm probably just going to use a ratchet on there um but since i was able to remove this pretty easily i went ahead and did it you don't need to do it but if you want to you can and that'll give you more free space there Now, before of removing this, just make sure that you unclip these right here. Thumb, you kind of want to check in there to see if there's any uh, grease in there, all that good stuff. So, on these, I can see that there is kind of not really any grease in there. Um, but I'm not going to go ahead and change them out. Uh, because if you don't know these things are super expensive uh, For me. Yeah, so I'm not I'm not gonna go ahead and lie and say oh, I have a lot of money These things are expensive. They're about maybe uh, 29 23 dollars a pop so you need eight and just yeah do the math um, Now I am saving a lot of money due to doing it myself, but I mean it is an expensive job So there you guys can see the spark plugs way in there So now we do have a specialized like I said a specialized socket for it that will go in there and has a little rubber in there so that it can hold the spark plug so go ahead and do that so this is the spark plug that was on the charger guys let me see if i could get look at that that looks pretty bad so as you can see here as well let me zoom in there you can see a little bit of fractures on the, the tip of the spark plug right here that doesn't look good as well 
So let's just go ahead and change them all out one by one. This is basically how the spark plug should look like. And now you can see there's that it's not gapped. So we're going to go ahead and gap it. mine to the required specs and that is how you do it so remember you start off over here and then you go around depending on what you need to gap the spark plugs at there you go there you have it and that is good Now here's another thing you guys want to keep in mind. You guys have to torque uh, the spark plugs to the manufacturer specifications. You can't just go ahead and tighten them up as far as you can tighten them up. You could even crack them. But so the required for this kind of vehicle is 13 pounds. So we are going to go ahead and do that. We have a torque wrench as well, and we will just torque them to specs. So since we got one side down, we're going to go ahead and put the coil pack back. We're just gonna go ahead and do one by one. And I'll be doing the same as for all of them. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and skip this part. Maybe just get a little bit of video from it. this side I'm going ahead and using this smaller extension just because we don't have a lot of clearance here go ahead and show you guys there so it is very very tight so it's better just to use this one you can see the short one okay guys so success so we are going everything's good everything sounds good everything seems normal and success guys so right now what i'm gonna do is unhook the battery and hopefully maybe that'll clear out that i have the tuner and i can clear out the light uh since i did do like a full um like a full change of spark plugs it should be a lot different than when the explorer now remember the explorer i didn't change all the spark plugs so that's the reason why it was acting up all right guys and with that being said uh sorry that the day got night well it turned night i'm sorry and so don't really kind of like filming at night but with that being said guys thank you all please like share and subscribe it will really help out the channel hit the notification bell button so that you also won't miss an upload and thank you guys for all the support so also stay tuned for a giveaway uh, that I will be doing so uh, soon. So please stay tuned for that. I want. I would like for all of you to participate. I'll, I'll explain the rules eventually. But thank you guys for all the support, and we'll see you guys on the next one.